welcome in this paper analysis uh, paper is physics basic paper 1 where you will get this paper you have to visit our website i am writing out name here you must be familiar with that but still i am writing here name of our website that is www. dot upsc dash guru dash is important here dot com so you have to visit this website and then uh, there are tabs so visit the tab that is showing you study material in this study material tab you will get downloads and in that download search out for physics category of download is uh, recognize as physics in this physics category you will get physics basic paper 1 so first thing is that visit this website study material tab download physics under physics you will get physics basic paper 1 so uh, instructions are given that you have to click right click and download so like that you can download that then take print out it is in pdf format english uh, language is used take pdf format or print out only 10 questions are there try to solve yourself first there is no some rashtrapati puraskar or award that you are going to solve it very fast etc no try to get the basic idea how questions are asked the way questions are asked try to get that try to solve take as much time you can take 2 to 3 minute to solve one question no problem so in 30 minutes you can solve this entire paper yourself first and then start hearing out this analysis getting idea so i am now starting out analysis so question 1 i hope there must be paper in front of you where printed format or uh, uh, you can download it write down it question first there we are mentioning out statement the statement is that if all planets revolve around sun in circular orbit then i am revising statement if all planets revolve around sun in circular orbit then which of the following statement is true is or are true now it is clearly mentioned if that means you are aware that planets are not revolving around sun in circular orbit they are elliptical one kepler showed this that planets are revolving in elliptical orbital but here i am giving you condition if planets revolve around sun in circular orbit then okay case one jupiter will require more energy than earth to revolve around sun second pluto will be ninth planet in solar system now options are given option a which is indicating only first statement is true option b will indicate only second statement will true option c will say both statements are true and option d will say neither one nor two we have to check out case one i have to study say this is sun earth is revolving around it in circular orbit same way jupiter is revolving around it in circular orbit so this is earth and this is jupiter don't say sun is smaller than earth and sun is smaller than jupiter no this is schematic diagram where uh, this is the direction of earth's movement and this is the direction of jupiter's movement whereas it is following this path so both of them are attracted towards sun with radius that is because of centripetal force which is acting as gravitational force that is serving here as uh, centripetal force now here they are following a path which is simply tangential path 
to their orbit you are aware that tangents they are making 90 degree angle with uh, radius now for movement of earth around sun let us check out what is the work done so you are aware the formula work done equal to f s cos theta you are aware force force equal to mass into acceleration into displacement into cos theta so it is obvious that this displacement is more uh, sorry less than displacement of jupiter mass of jupiter is less uh, more than mass of earth everything you can go but what is the important thing that cos theta cos theta is angle between the force applied and displacement taking place so force applied in this direction displacement is taking place in 90 degree direction so whether it is earth or it is jupiter m a s and value of cos theta i have to put so that is cos 90 as it is cos 90 the value of cos 90 is zero so irrespective of the mass of jupiter distance traveled by jupiter multiply by zero that will be zero any greatest figure in the world multiply by zero will get only zero you don't say that smaller zero and bigger zero zero is zero so what is energy required for earth if orbital is exactly circular to move around sun that is zero and same way for jupiter that is zero so first statement jupiter will require more energy than earth to revolve around sun is not valid in this case getting idea by using this formula otherwise also whatever the orbital shape jupiter will not require more energy so it is understood second pluto will be ninth planet in the solar system why pluto is not considered as planet you are aware that in earlier days pluto was considered as planet but now we are not considering that as planet we are considering them as dwarf planet why pluto is not considered as planet number 1 all planets that means from mercury to neptune all planets are revolving around sun in the same plane say this is the center is sun and all planets are revolving around this plane whereas pluto is revolving like this so pluto is having different plane than other planets plane but this is not only reason all planets as kepler says revolve around sun in elliptical orbital like that pluto is also revolving in elliptical orbital but the ellipse is still more elongated and therefore it intercepts the orbit of neptune so sometime pluto is eighth planet and sometime it is ninth planet getting idea second reason third reason pluto is having satellite charon spelled out as charon but we have to pronounce as charon which is also moving around the uh, uran uh, pluto but pluto is also moving around charon so something like that wobbling motion is observed so pluto is not directly revolving around sun it is moving like this around charon and moving around sun so if orbitals make circular then pluto may be ninth but i having objection for word planet only one thing is there the ninth object then it will be right but it is written as it is ninth planet in solar system so pluto is not now called as planet because it is considering one fact but the plane of pluto will be remain same the pluto will remaining uh, continue to move around charon and therefore it will not so according to a uh, condition pluto is not considered as planet and therefore we are saying this as neither one nor two so answer here is d in which uh, now second question in which of the case you expect maximum work done 
a person is lifting 100 kg weight and walking horizontally for 10 km a person is lifting 100 metric ton weight and walking horizontally for 0.1 km now lifting from ground level or something that is not mentioned so we have to eliminate that option that whether he is lifting from ground level to his height what is the height of that person what is the height at that weight is carried out neglect it and then try to solve the first person in the example is lifting out weight and walking horizontally now walking horizontally means cos theta the theta becomes zero so cos zero is one so work done is having formula here that is force into displacement why because cos theta is there but cos theta it is moving uh, they are moving horizontally so theta becomes zero so cos zero is having value one so anything multiply by one will have its own value so uh, in this example i am eliminating out the factor of cos theta we are just considering only horizontal displacement in that case force that is mass into acceleration into displacement now case one person is lifting out 100 kg weight now we have to follow mk system here so person is lifting out 100 kg weight so 100 and moving out uh in this case we have to consider acceleration value is same so uh mention speed is not there but we have to consider as same into displacement displacement is 10 km so 10 km means 10000 meters so it is this 10000 i am writing as it is and two zeros here so it will be 10 lakh into a so this is case 1 work done where person is lifting out 100 kg weight in second case uh it will be mass mass is 100 metric ton one metric ton correspond to 1000 kg so 100 metric ton corresponds to 100 into 1000 kg into acceleration i am keeping as it is and displacement displacement is 0.1 kg uh, one 0.1 km so i should consider 0.1 km so i have to convert it into meter here i have converted 10 km into 10000 meter here 0.1 into 1000 as it is i am writing out so just check out 0.1 0.1 one means what it is 1 by 10 so i can cancel out 0 0 here so simply i can multiply by 100 so 1 2 3 4 5 alright and still 2 you are getting here Say two, five, and two. So total seven and two, nine zeros. So uh, seven zeros over here. Now uh, into a. Now choice is yours. One and two. In case of first example, we are getting ten lakh a. In second example, we are getting one crore a. So obviously, second figure is bigger than first figure. and so in second case work done is more everywhere we consider a as same and we are now considering not lifting factor then then also it will be same if lifting factor is considered then also it will be same now here uh, in which case you expect maximum work done obviously our answer goes only two so we have to check out on option where only two is there obviously it is b so here answer is b so mark yourself as b now third which statement is true about volume okay so we have to now discuss about volume so which statement is true about volume si unit of volume is liter so unit of volume is liter but not si this is other than SI unit, which is widely used in world, liter, milliliter, we are also using, but it is not SI unit. And so, I should consider first statement is not true. Second, SI unit of volume is decimeter cube. Yes, 
this is true meter cube is the si unit of volume i can divide that decimeter centimeter millimeter etc so millimeter cube centimeter cube decimeter cube they all are si unit only so second statement is true now third unit of volume is a derived unit yes we discuss in the chapter of unit that volume i have to multiply length into breadth into height so fundamental unit here is meter or decimeter which is multiplied by decimeter multiplied by decimeter so it is derived unit so third statement is also true fourth statement unit of volume is a fundamental unit no it is derived unit either it can be derived or fundamental so if i am saying it is derived unit then obviously fundamental unit is not correct option so my answer goes with 2 and 3 so that option is d so our answer here is d question number 4 which of the following unit is or are fundamental unit options newton joule meter watt you can check out newton newton is unit of force and you are aware formula of force that is mass into acceleration unit of mass that is kilogram and unit of acceleration that is meter per second square this all we are considering as newton so it is derived unit in case of second that is joule you are aware joule is unit of work done and work done equal to force into displacement cos theta so i am eliminating here this uh, if horizontal displacement is there then force unit is newton and displacement meter or i can say this is as kilogram meter per second square into meter so meter into meter meter square so i am getting this is kilogram meter square per second square so either this or this this is what ultimately it is considered as joule so joule is also derived unit so newton and joule both are derived whereas third one that is meter now meter is fundamental unit it is arbitrarily decided that distance between two scratches made on platinum iridium alloy rod which is kept in evacuated chamber at paris that distance we are considering at uh, si unit office at paris that distance we are considering as 1 meter and so uh, meter is fundamental unit so uh, next option watt watt that is unit of power which is work done in unit time so what is unit of work done that is joule upon second so i can write joule per second so this is also derived unit so there is only one fundamental unit in given sequence that is meter so we have to check out option where only 3 is there that is option c so answer is here option c now fifth question which is correct ascending order of frequency try to recollect our this radiation lecture where we discuss this all uh, in this type of question what is my recommendation that you can produce graph and then go to answer this so this graph is single axis graph which is of increasing frequency so this graph shows us gamma rays x rays vacuum ultraviolet ultraviolet violet uh, uh violet to red simply we are calling this as visible range then infrared then far infrared then micro waves and radio waves so this graph is there this is increasing frequency or increasing energy or increasing wavelength so here wavelength is less here wavelength is more here energy is more frequency is more here energy and frequency both value are less so this way i have short uh, made 
now check out highest frequency here gamma yes first one then red yes in sequence then infrared ir that is infrared yes and then radio so this is highest frequency no highest is here and least is here so this is descending order what we want ascending order so this first option i have eliminated now second radio yes ir greater than that frequency wise huh? then red yes then gamma so b option is correct here as uh, there are no multiple choices like 1 and 2 2 and 3 like that we can go immediately for b but check out if you want other options with this chart sixth one which of the following unit or units is or are used for pressure in bracket it is given not necessarily si unit okay barometer pascal kilo newton per meter square and watt out of that options are given 1 and 2 2 and 3 3 and 4 and only 2 now you are aware that barometer is instrument which is used to measure atmospheric pressure and so barometer is not a unit so i should eliminate option 1 so wherever it is mention option 1 we have to eliminate so option a is eliminated automatically then pascal you are aware it is si unit of pressure what is pressure force applied in perpendicular direction per unit area so force applied so force applied is newton per unit area that is meter square so this is called as pascal so 1 newton per meter square is pascal so this is unit of pressure if 1000 newtons are there then also they are newton so kilo newton kilo stands for 1000 so newton per meter square or kilo newton per meter square is also unit of force yes a uh, unit of pressure yes true the next one is watt and just now we discuss that watt is unit of power and not pressure and so watt is not consider watt or what whatever your pronounce so option is 2 and 3 now check out where 2 and 3 option is there that is in b so right answer is b which is next question which is the heaviest particle now when this type of questions are there obviously we have to give answer in the known value so only four options are there proton neutron electron and positron so you have to select heaviest particle in the given series you are aware proton and neutron we are considering mass as 1 but when only one we have to select we have to go in detail you are aware in muslim community they are considering this number is something sacred number you can remember this number in this way that when we are talking of proton it is having mass as 1.0078 amu mass of neutron is 1.00 now remember next two number that is 86 amu getting idea so remember this number 786 you will able to get proton and neutron that is having mass 1.0078 amu neutron is having mass 1.0086 amu so for proton consider first two numbers for neutron consider next two numbers in case of electron it is 0.00355 amu this mass is not constant it is continuously varying out with its velocity but uh, we are considering some standard figure to remember so these figures are mentioned and next particle that is given that is as positron positron is not always present in nuclear reaction or artificial re uh, radioactivity we have not discussed that but in artificial radioactivity these type of particles are produced they are anti particle of electron they are having same mass as that of electron so mass is same only thing is that charge is exactly opposite electron carries minus one charge proton carries plus one charge so this all if you consider then i should eliminate out this two from competition this is something that indian cricket team 
सॉरी इंडियन फुटबॉल टीम इन वर्ल्ड कप चैम्पियनशिप दे आर नॉट कंसिडरिंग अस एट ऑल वी आर नॉट एबल टू क्वालिफाई दैट सो लाइक दैट दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आई एम एलिमिनेटिंग आउट नाउ आई हैव टू डिसाइड हु इज द चैम्पियन अमंग दिस टू सो ऑब्वियस थिंग इज दैट दिस वैल्यू इज ग्रेटर दैन दिस सो हेवीएस्ट पार्टिकल हियर दैट इज न्यूट्रॉन नाउ नेक्स्ट आंसर इज बी हियर नाउ नेक्स्ट एट टू टेन क्वेश्चन इट इज रिटर्न एज सी टी एफ एस दैट इज कन्सिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स एंड आंसर कीज आर गिवन हियर दैट इज ए मीन्स बोथ स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू बी बोथ स्टेटमेंट्स आर फॉल्स सी फर्स्ट इज ट्रू सेकंड इज फॉल्स एंड डी फर्स्ट इज फॉल्स एंड सेकंड इज ट्रू नाउ एट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स आर लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वेव्स वेअर मीडियम इज रिक्वायर फॉर देअर प्रोपॅगेशन समथिंग जमलिंग लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वेव्स येस फॉर लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वेव प्रोपॅगेशन मीडियम इज रिक्वायर्ड सो हाफ पार्ट इज ट्रू बट इलेक्ट्रोमॅग्नेटिक वेव्स आर लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वेव्स नो वी डिस्कस दॅट इलेक्ट्रोमॅग्नेटिक वेव्स आर ट्रान्सफर्स वेव्स दे आर नॉट लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वेव so if entire statement is consider it is not true and therefore i am marking first statement as false if first statement is false then either b or d both options are there now this depends upon our second chapter uh, second option on change of medium speed of electric uh, electromagnetic wave changes yes that's why refraction is there the direction as well as speed it changes on changing of medium and therefore uh, option 2 is correct so as first is false and second is true that option d is the right option here so eighth question answer is option d now ninth question presence of ether in the space is not yet proved try to recollect we discussed that electromagnetic waves are there but in order to propagate wave there must be medium requirement of medium is there then scientists propose out some hypothetical medium that should be present in the space that medium is called as ether that is not in case of organic chemistry one substance is there ether no this is something different hypothetical medium but uh, till today our capacity with our all capacities and efficiencies and abilities we are not able to prove the presence of ether yet so with all our abilities all our equipment all our knowledge we are not able to prove presence of ether yet this ether you should not confuse with ether used in organic chemistry this is something hypothetical medium that scientists are proposing out that should be present in space or even uh, earth is there in the space so everywhere but we are not able to prove presence of ether yet and so uh, the first statement is obviously true in this case so as first statement is true we have options either a or c so we have to go for second statement in order to consider this aeroplane that travels with speed greater than light is called as supersonic aeroplane fantastic statement is there supersonic that means greater than velocity of sound and not light getting idea so here the statement is obviously false till today we are not getting aeroplane that will travel beyond the speed of light according to einstein the great scientist he says e equal to mc square he says c as limiting velocity for any matter velocity is not exceeded by uh, than c that velocity of light is considered as limiting velocity now scientists are carrying out certain experiments that certain particles can travel with greater speed than that of light yet certain people they believe that certain tracks from that track one can travel with very high velocity but not yet true so there is no till our present date aeroplane is found which can travel with velocity greater than velocity of light 
uh, but greater than velocity of sound yes that category is called as supersonic aeroplanes like that mig category of aeroplanes that is there in india then certain other aeroplanes are also there with us they are traveling with velocity greater than velocity or greater than speed of sound and not light so second statement is false so first is true and second is false that means answer is c the last question if you are correct and scored till here all questions correct then check out 10th question with eager that can you able to score 10 out of 10 marks gamma rays are having longest wavelength and therefore highest energy check out chart is there with you so wavelength increases this way so radio waves are having highest wavelength and gamma rays uh, here gamma rays are having minimum wavelength so first part of statement is false and therefore highest energy so they possess highest energy but not therefore as wavelength is longest therefore their energy is highest no okay because you are aware that wavelength and energy they are inversely proportional not directly proportional and so first statement is false second violet light is having less energy than ultraviolet light violet light is having energy here and ultraviolet here so energically ultraviolet light is having more energy than violet so here it is mentioned violet light is having less energy than ultraviolet light statement is true because ultraviolet is having greater energy that means violet is having less energy and so uh, first statement is false but second is true so answer goes here d getting idea so this way we have to solve this type of paper now just check out your score be honest if you are able to score 10 out of 10 marks then I can say my teaching is perfect and your understanding is also perfect plus your intellectual level is also very high if you are able to score 5 plus marks that means 5 questions plus marks then also I should say yes I am a good teacher and you are a good follower but less than 5 marks then obviously you are not able to follow me what I am teaching so uh, please keep in mind but for that purpose it is very very essential that you must observe all our previous lectures study out and then appear for exam just randomly if you are appearing for exam there is no meaning so first study out and then appear for exam you will get this type of exams periodically